my God, somebody's got to be the fall guy. If it needs to be me, I can be that, you know. Your thoughts on I don't have anything to say to that, no. you know. My God, the world saw what happened. <laughs> I know. <laughs> they saw it. I didn't have to cover it up. Are you surprised that 10 years plus later that someone would still have a, a chip on their shoulder over this? Nothing surprises me in the world we live in today. I have to tell you something right now, nothing does. You know, <clears throat> I don't really have anything to say to it, to be honest with you. I don't, I don't think I can win by saying anything. I find it amusing that that's an issue at the 2016 Ryder Cup. I think Phil better get his mind on what he needs to have it on this week instead of on something that happened 10 years ago. Can I, can I just one other, one other thing? Obviously, you're the only one that ever made the decision, and we were just talking to Curtis and basically said the only one that had the, the balls to make that decision. <laughs> to do it all, would you do it all over again? Well, at the time, I felt like the world you know, I mean, in the passing of Arnold, you know, Arnold and Jack didn't start out to be the best of friends because there was kind of a dethroning going on there. And they ended up being just great friends. And I felt like the world of golf would be better off if Tiger Woods and Phil Mickelson became friends. And I felt like if they played together and had fun and beat somebody, they would end up being friends. They didn't beat anybody. So, you know, uh, it couldn't be their fault. It had to be somebody else's fault. It had to be Hal Sutton's fault. Had to be. <laughs> you, um, just one other thing about that. You took it. Don't ask me another question. That was the last thing you said. Okay. One more thing. No. <laughs> just, I've been watching. I watched Lanny on television. Yeah, and this has been in my face the whole time. I know. Too. I, I know. So you're going to go play this for Phil whenever we get through? Oh, no, I, but I promise you he will eventually see this. <laughs> one last thing, though. You, you took everything that happened at Oakland Hills pretty hard. I mean, it really kind of changed you, didn't it? It did. Yeah, it did. I pretty much quit golf after that. I took the blame for everything, you know, and everybody, nobody played very good that week. You know, and it's tough as a captain when you go in there and, and people don't play well. It's hard to beat anybody. And when you play well, you beat everybody. So, uh, you know, if, if I still need to shoulder the blame for Phil's poor play, well, then I'll do that.